Hi, everybody. Trying to figure out camera angles, trying to get online. Boy, everything was not working right. I don't want to be so in your face, but we're trying to move with, mess with camera angles because tonight's a little bit unique. As you come on board, would you please say hi? And let me know you're here. Give me a like and a share, please, because tonight should be exciting. I am really excited to do this project. I've never done anything quite like this before, so we'll see what happens. Um, as you know, on my wall, there is a picture of a wreath done by Horshaw Homes. Now, I've followed Horsh Horshaw Homes, uh, their catalog I've gotten for years and years and years. Actually, I'm not even getting it anymore. I'm just getting things online. I'm fluffing this wreath out a little bit. This is what we're going to start with, this 24-inch pine wreath. Anyway, I followed Horshaw for a long, long time. I've never bought one thing from them because they're obviously made for people who have more money than cents. And then, honestly, if I had the money, I don't think I'd pay their prices because they're just ridiculous. But they have beautiful things, and I get a lot of inspiration and a lot of good ideas. And I've copied um, some land, uh, tablescapes and um, wall colors and gotten some ideas. Yeah, you know, I've never copied. Hi, Dolores. How are you tonight? I've uh, I've copied several things from Horshaw. Never exactly, um, because I always like to put my own little spin on it. But uh, I'm hoping that things are going to work tonight from this angle, because when I'm putting an entire wreath together, I'm going to I'm going to zoom down real quick and let, let you see my stuff. I've got golden and green magnolia leaves. I've got hydrangeas and carnations. I've got these frosted, whatever they are, picks. And then I've got white picks. I've got some, I'm not going to be using the greenery. I'll be using the more hydrangeas and the petals of them because they didn't use a single whole flower. And then I've got somewhere I have a whole box of these and I can't find it. I've got that. I've got these white frosted picks. I've got some frosted little stems like that. And I've got this stuff, which I'll use probably all of this. Then I've got these gorgeous big gold leaves. And uh, so, I, and then I have all these little gold picks like this. I just picked up a whole bunch of these the other day. Um, they were buy one, get one get three free at Joann's, I think is where I got these. Um, so I got a whole bunch of them. And then uh, here's lights. We'll be putting lights in it, but I'm not going to put the lights in until the end because I'm working with hot glue. I don't think it's very smart to put the lights in first. So what I will probably do is after I'm done with the wreath, um, if it's safe to go ahead and put them in uh, at that point before I go off tonight, I'll probably put them in from the back. So right now I've got four sets of lights here. And uh, then uh, they use a lot of gold balls on that picture. But I've got these golden pears. That one's orange. We're not using that one. And then I have tons of golden ornaments. Theirs use bigger ones. So I have some bigger, bigger ones over here. And... Uh, They're mixed in with other colors, but I have some some gold in here, the larger size. So I'll be using some of them. Pull some of them out. And uh, I'm not so much concerned as the size of the ball as I am the color. So definitely want to use some of sorry, I got out of the view here. Some I'll use some of these glittery ones. This is going to be a, if I can get in. So I'll be using some of these. They didn't use fruit in theirs. I happen to like the fruit, so I'm going to do that. Let's see what we end up with. Now, my idea is not to completely duplicate everything they've done. It's to provide my version of what they've done. 
Hi, Joanne. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to have to scroll back up because you won't be able to see the wreath. And that's what we're going to start working on. This is a 24 inch pine base wreath. This is not a fur. Um, I can't remember what kind, but I have a lot of fur wreaths. This one happened to be a little bit fuller, so I decided to go with it. So let me see. I've got my phone here. We're going to see if I can use the phone. I don't think I have anybody to kind of guide me here or moderate tonight. So as you come aboard, like I said, please give me a like and a share. Sprinkle the love around. I appreciate it very much. Okay, so I'm going to start out with the magnolias. And the idea behind this is they are larger, of course, and they're going to be the background for more of the pieces and more of the other pieces. So I, I'm going to start by putting them in. I've got my glue pot. Let's see. My glue pot is melting. It's just pretty good. And my glue gun is heating because sometimes you need both. And uh, so I like these leaves because some are gold and some are green. And uh, so I'll, you know, mix it up a little bit. Being that is on a green pine wreath. I'm just taking the price tags off. These came from, gosh, I have no idea. Oh, actually, they came from Walmart. I've had these for a couple of years, so I didn't remember. And I'm amazed that they came from Walmart. And at the time, they were, it says they were $2. I guarantee you that I got them for half that. As I wouldn't have paid $2. Not that they weren't worth it. It's just I don't do that. I never pay full price for anything. I only buy when things are on sale. Clearance or a percentage off. So. Okay. Let's see how many I've got here. So get my wire cutters going here. Okay. Some of these I may have to put a stem on. I have my little pick machine. I may have to put a pick on them. But I'm going to try to avoid that if I can. So I'm just cutting this apart. I'll need to pick that one. I always save these for other uses in case I need to make a pick out of something else. So let's see. I don't want to drip glue on all my pretty stuff. So I'm going to move it to the side. This is not easy trying to come at it this from this angle. Definitely not. Okay, I'm going to start with gold. Just so I have a, a point of reference. And by the way, I, uh, I saw somebody post today, and I don't remember who it was. Not somebody I recognize, but she posted a picture of a wreath. Actually, it looked pretty darn good. But she said she was having a lot of trouble, that she was stuck. And I thought, you know, that happens to me all the time. I get something in my head, and I start working on it, and, and I get stuck um, because it's not turning out the way I thought it should. Okay, so I'm just going to, I'm going to start right up here. And I'm just going to glue these magnolia leaves in. Now, I didn't go behind the branches. I went up one layer. I can pull some things in front of it. But you got to have something to glue it to. So I have to have some pine to glue it to. So anyway, what I was going to tell you is um, I have found out that when I'm stuck and it's not coming together the way I want it to, if I make a bow and put my bow in it, then I have the bow as a frame of reference to design further. And it works for me every time. And that's, it may not work for you, but it works for me. So that's just a helpful hint, maybe, for somebody. Okay, I'm realizing with the magnolia leaves, I definitely need to put them in front of a, a pine branch so that it'll pull it forward. Because I don't want them to fall way behind. 
And I don't think I want to do every other, like every other one. I don't want to be so contrived. So, so I will put like two together. You know, because nature's not so contrived. And we don't want to have a, anything looking contrived. This glue is supposed to be non-stringing glue. Well, they lie because it's stringing all over the place. Okay. So right now, I'm just going to keep going with this. And I'm going to, whoop, drip. <laughs> I'm going to put some in front of, because I don't want just a wall of magnolia leaves. So. Just find some good pine to stick it to. Oh, that's going to be good the way it, uh, yeah, have some behind and then pull some forward. I think that'll work really well. I do have my picture here on my phone, but it's not staying up. So, and it seems to me that they pretty much did a whole, this leaf is kind of marred. It won't matter because I'll be putting stuff in front of it anyway. <laughs> Stringy food. Oh, that was hot. That landed on my hand. Okay, I want that one down there. Cut some more apart here. I will probably be using all of them. Here, I've had these for all these years and never had a, uh, a project to use them on, and now I'm going to use them all at once. So, can you tell me? Are, am I, are you going to Wreath Makers Live? Hi, Paula. Wow. Paula, it's so good to see you. I worked with Paula at the post office in O'Fallon, Missouri. And gosh, I retired from there 10 years ago. So I have seen, it's been that long since I've seen her. Wow. Thank you for joining me. Um... Am I going to Wreath Makers Live? Jean, hi. Um, I don't know. I don't think so. If I do, I will not go to the business day. Um, I don't even know when it is. Can you give me some details? Let's scroll down. I haven't seen, I have been so busy. Jean, that I've kind of been out of the loop here. Um, I, I've had umpteen custom orders to get made, and I had my house to get cleaned for Thanksgiving and all of Thanksgiving dinner to cook and um, had to decorate my mother's place. I did that today. Went over and put up her. She has a singing and dancing Santa Claus, so I had to get him out and get him all cleaned up and then I took her little tree over and got it all fluffed up and I made her a new wreath for her door. And I posted that on my page tonight. Uh, she she actually picked the one that, that I gave her. It's not the one I was going to give her, but she chose it. It's got a little elf on it and uh, turned out real cute, little whimsical little thing. And uh, then I had another custom order to deliver, which I also posted. And, uh, boy, I've, I've been gone. I just, <laughs> all day. So, and then I had to try to clean up this craft room a little bit so you guys could, could not, you know, see past all the mess. Because I had such a mess. You can't be a crafter and not have a mess. That's just, it's just physically impossible. Okay, so I'm just going to kind of spread these around and just kind of give myself 
That one doesn't want to go in very well. Okay. What I'll do is, if they don't stick very well, I'll come back and hit them with the glue gun. And then they will. We're going to go stick one up here, too. Just kind of come a little forward with that. Let's see how many I have. I've got to be careful how I space because I may run out and I don't want to do that. <laughs> may have to spread them out a little bit further. So I'm just dipping the stems into the glue. So far I haven't had to add a pick. Sticking them up. Dripping glue everywhere. So make sure you have your surface protected. Reminds me, God, my, cut my ornaments down here and the lid was off. I'm dripping glue in them. Okay, stick that right in there. Okay, tickets are on sale today. 600 for three days of business and different no making take. Hmm. And when is it? And where is it? Hi, Sue. Hey. Hey, hey, hey. I thought I might see you when you saw the Horshaw. <laughs> right now, I'm just laying my um, magnolia leaves in the in the wreath. I'm gluing them in to kind of make the base for it. And some are green, some are gold. This is how they came. I didn't do anything special to them other than cut them apart and now I'm gluing them. Some of them want to fold up on me. I'm not too keen on that one. Okay. I think I'm barely going to have enough of these. And that's, that's fine. I told you I'd use them all. That's cool. Only problem is, is I'm out of gold ones. Huh? Okay. It won't matter. We'll just pick the gold up with the ornaments and it will not matter one bit. Okay, that one doesn't want to stick. There we go. Some forward, some back. I've got some little ones here. So I'm going to just stick in. You can stay open anytime. I would be appreciative. Y'all talk to your artwork or your projects or your stuff. I talk to everything, including myself. Oh, I like this because it's got just a little bit of the burnish on it. I'm going to go. Actually, I had some Magnolia swags, but they had no gold in them. If I needed to, I could have come in and brought some of the leaves from them, but I think I'm good. I, I think I'm, I'm going to cut this stem off just a hair. And I'm going to go right here. I just dumped a whole bunch of glue on my table. Hope it didn't hit my rug. Okay. There we go. So now the magnolias are in. So. Oh, I'm going to scroll down. Thought I might have somebody here to help moderate. It's in, it's July in Dallas. Oh, wow. Hi, LaVon. Hi, Tammy. Long time no see. How are you? Oh, Tammy's been sick. Hey, Dawn. Oh, my gosh. Hi, Rita. How are you tonight? And so I'm so glad to see all of you here. Thank you so much for joining me. 
this is an interesting project, that's for sure, because it's something I've never done before. Okay, so now I'm going to start, um, as, as you can see, and I'm, I'm just not even going to look at the picture anymore, because like I said, my goal was not to be identical to it, just to do my version of it. So right now I'm going to start cutting a, apart my hydrangea blossoms because as you'll see, as you see in that picture, when they use them, they don't use the whole blossom. I mean, we could use this, well, this is a small one, but um, I have some rather large ones here too, but they don't use the whole one. They just cut them apart and use a little at a time. These I'm going to have to pick because the stems are so short. So I've got my little pick machine. So I'm just going to dip that pick into the glue and I'm just going to come right in and start sticking these around. Apart. <laughs> so very is everybody unlike me not decorated is everybody else ready my trees up but not decorated and my tree is a nine foot tree and it's flopped and I've never used it before it's new when well, we bought it the day after Christmas last year and then he put it on a stand. So I'm just going to space these periodically around. Whoop. That glue was very hot on my finger. So the only thing on my tree at this particular moment is the angel. He put the angel up there because she, after he put the tree on a stand, it's up 10 feet in the air. And he realized that trying to get the angel on it after it's decorated would be almost impossible. So he, he went ahead. I'm not doing a bow topper. I'm doing an angel. And uh, because we have a great big star. Oh, it says Cubby Live. Hmm. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> it's kind of late to give me a notice about that, huh? Since I started a half hour ago. You're, oh, no, what kind of surgery, if you don't mind telling? Tammy, I hate to hear that. Okay. Oh, okay. Where's the California one? That sounds more appealing to me. But I don't have family out there. Well, I used to, but I, I, you know, I can't find them. I've been trying to find them. I had cousins out there. And I have no idea what's happened to them. I was sure I'd find them on LinkedIn, but no. I'm just, just kind of jabbing a few of these here and there everywhere. Kind of sticking them in front of the... I don't want to be too evenly spaced, and I seem to be a little evenly spaced here. So I'm going to get me a few more. The reason I'm having to pick these is because the stems are plastic and they're melting in the hot glue. You can't do that.
sometimes when I pick these, I go ahead and uh, cut part of the pick off because it, sometimes it's too long. But this is a pretty thick wreath, so I think we're going to be okay. Okay, now I've got these gold pears, these gold glittered pears. These actually came off of, I had two little trees um, beside my front door, you know, little lit trees that you put outside, and they were each about four feet high, and I've had them for a number of years. They were getting a little bit worn, so I took them apart and redid them, and I saved the, these little pears, so I was lucky enough to... They had some, so that's what I'm going to put in. Because there's nothing wrong with them. They weathered fine. It was the other stuff on there that didn't weather so fine. So I'm just put that in the glue, and I'm just going to put that right into the wreath. <laughs> Rub the glue off my hands. Now, there was no bow on this wreath. And I've got a whole bunch of ribbons stacked up here. If you can see back here, all my gold and white and ribbons. Just in case I decided I wanted to add a bow. Anybody else? I'm telling you, I use my teeth to pull the tops off these ornaments. It just works. <laughs> my fingers don't do such a great job. So I'm just going to start gluing these in. Here and there. Yeah, I don't know what I want to do. Now. Pull some more glue into my pot here in a minute. <laughs> they melt they better melt fast because they're too long for the skillet okay. now as you can see when you start working with elements in your wreath you don't you can't work with all one thing and then other than your background once you establish the back like i can't do all hydrangeas and then all pears and then all ornaments you're just going to want to pick and choose and go in various places with them otherwise you'll get lost in the in the um things will be end up being too symmetrical and uh, you won't be happy with the results that's not to say that you won't don't uh have you don't want to use your triangular design um I have a rose here, a white rose, that I'm going to use my next into. And you, uh, you know, with the triangular design, but in this particular project, that's not something that I'm going to really need to do too much. Um, just because it's so full of stuff. I want to put that rose in there. Now, I had some really pretty white and gold poinsettias, but I may not use those. See all these roses? They're such pretty things. And then I've got the hydrangeas in there, too. Now, I've got these glittery gold leaves. And I... See how I'm gonna do this. You have to if you cut these apart, you gotta cut them apart all the way because they're attached the whole way down. And I don't want to use that great big wing hole. Oh my goodness, I probably should just use the scissors. I'm going to click it. Okay. 
Now in this particular, I'm going to cut part of that pick off. And I want to put this right there. It's kind of coming forward a little bit. Scissors, scissors. Okay. I'm just going to cut these off the stem and then I'm going to pick them individually. I just cut them all apart and then I'll pick them individually because I want smaller ones coming forward. And then I've got these other larger ones. And I will I wish tickets hadn't gone on sale so quick for that Wreath Makers Live. I mean, you know, I'm sorry, but, you know, I have to buy my license again right now. And that's $100, of course. And then I've got Christmas, like everybody else. And, uh, My uh, son-in-law just had a birthday. My daughter has a birthday right on the 19th of January. This is just not a very good time for me to buy Reef Maker Live tickets. Pick this one. I apologize that you can't see every single thing I'm doing, so I'm trying to remember to tell you. So I've just picked a couple of these gold branches, and I'm going to just stick them. These are the littler ones, so I'm going to stick them coming out, sticking them out a little bit, coming forward. My fingers will not pull those things off. That. that one right there. Okay. okay I've got one more big one here. Having to cut it apart. Now you see here I am doing kind of the triangular thing. But that's because I've got three large ones is all I have. So I want to space them relatively symmetrically. And then the others I will just fill in at random. So I'm going to go right here with this one. So I kind of have the triangular effect there. Now see what I have left? It's odd. So I'm going to cut these apart just down the stem. And then I can stem each one of these. I'll put a pick on them. And then put them in as little fillers as I need to. Because they'll make great little fillers. And I probably won't use them all. I will probably save some of those for a wreath. Because I have these pretty little things. These came from old time pottery. The one thing I don't have 
is gold swirly sticks. I had some, but I don't know what happened to them. That means they're packed away somewhere and I have not come across them yet. That They probably got packed with the stuff I put on my own Christmas tree because I did use a lot of them last year. Okay, so now... I'm going to, what I'm going to, I think I'm going to start right up here with these. I do not need to pick these. Oh, those are going to add a lot of depth. And they, I noticed, I'm just going to stick them randomly behind because they're taller. Stringy gloom. <laughs> Can you see how it's coming together? Okay, let me scroll down. Okay. Oh my gosh, 30 new comments, guys. I'm so sorry. Um, Okay, I've missed it. The rest of the metal taken out of your leg. Oh, amputation does not sound good. Hi, Cindy. Oh, Tammy, you are in my prayers. Oh, my gosh. I. Well, we're just not going to, we're going to believe for positive result there that they can remove the metal. And that there will be no amputation. That's what we're believing for. Absolutely. <laughs> you probably see the glue just falling. And I'm thinking, oh, am I going to have a mess to clean up here in a little while? Oh, that didn't go far enough back. I'm going to glue it again. There we go. That's where I wanted it. I've got glue all over my light, all over, stringing everywhere. And my glue gun battery died. So, forgive me as I switch that out. Fortunately, I have another one on a charger here. That should be charged. It's supposed to last for three hours. We will see. I may not even need it, but just in case I do. I like that white rose in there, so I definitely want to do some more. A different rows. I'm going to keep those leaves on there. And I'm going to push them all the way up. Cut that stem short. Well, I picked it and only one of the, I tried to pick two stems together and only one picked. So, I'll use the one. But I am going to cut it off a little bit. So I'm going to 
and stick this right in there. Kind of coming forward a little bit. The good thing about um, doing these, or the one thing to remember when you're doing things like this, is you definitely want to make sure that things are behind, coming forward, coming inward, you know, going at an angle. You want everything going kind of every which way. So, and I do apologize for all the ribbon behind me. I, I couldn't move everything out of the way. I need to have a big old white screen to bring down so you can just clearly see. Now, I don't think I'm going to use these because they've got silver on them. And I don't think I'm going to do that. But these just have glitter. I'm going to use those. Um, the reason I'm going to save this, the silver, it wouldn't really matter. But I'm going to do a silver and gold wreath. And so I'm needing to save my silver stuff for that. And I have some platinum things that I'll be putting into that too. So I'm going to put this right in front of that gold. Let's see. Oh, I've got more of this. It's going to go right into there. Well, this is an apple, and it's got a stem at one end and a stem at the other. It almost looks like a pumpkin. Um, where do I want to put it? I'm not sure. So I'm not going to put it anywhere right now. I'm going to grab some smaller <laughs> glue. I want to grab some smaller um, gold ornaments because they're shiny. And I want to put the shine in there. So I'll just put those into the glue. These are shatterproof. And when I do this, I just kind of do where my eye goes. Um, looking pretty good. <laughs> string string oh you're welcome Tammy hi Vicki it's great to see you they're offering a lot well it sounds like they're offering a lot it sounds but boy it's a lot of money but you said three business days I didn't get anything out of the business day so I'm confused about that I'd like to see a convention where they um break people up, they break the, up into groups for um, more experienced business owners, new business owners, um, and you can break up into groups and, and uh, go to the things that, that you need the most. That's what I would like to see on a business day. The gold is really making this look rich. So I'm going to stick right there. I dripped some gold some glue, so I'm just going to cut it out. I thought. I guess not. I can right here. There we go. Okay, so I need some more roses. Well, that's a funky little branch. It looks like a branch that hasn't yet opened up. Looks very realistic. Okay. I only have one more rose, and it's not the same as the others, but I think it'll work okay. But I don't really want to. I 
I didn't really want to go in a triangular pattern with the roses, but I do like that there. Okay. Somewhere I have more roses. I may end up going out and digging them out and finding them. And so now I need to add some more hydrangeas. laughing at my glue. Yeah. They say it was Sherbon no strings. Uh-huh. How about Sherbon lots of strings. Okay, I have all these little things here. These are just darling and I think that these are going to add a lot. And I'm just going to peel them off. Take them apart and use them just like they are. them a little bit. Let's see, where do I want to put this? Hmm. Just try to position, I think. Now the, the thing about this is, is you're going to want to put things where you don't think you need anything because that wreath is so full and we want this one to be equally as full. And I'm going to put this little there, right? Right there. And of course, my goal is, is that anybody who sees the horseshoe wreath that really wanted it, but didn't want to spend, it was on sale for $2.15, then they could see mine and say, oh, well, I'll buy hers for, you know, 80, 85, something like that. I got glue on my leaf, so I'm peeling it off. Okay, there we go. Looking awesome. Thank you, Sue. I, you know, you never know because, well, you know how it is. You think you have a vision. You think you got it all planned and you just start working and, and sometimes it comes together and sometimes it doesn't. Um, I know one thing, it doesn't typically look like I planned it to look. There, that's got extras in there. I wanted to do that. So um, you just never know. Uh, I do love gold and white. I love the color combo. Um, I find it to be very, very rich. And if I had enough stuff, I would do my mantle in it. I don't have enough room between my mantle and my ceiling to put a wreath over my, uh, over my fireplace. It's very strange. This house has a real high fireplace. The mantle is really, really high. And it's not super. It's only about 12 inches deep. I think I told y'all, didn't I? 
about a crazy builder in this house. Crazy, crazy builder. He built, he was actually, he built the house to live in. And he did some of the silliest, silliest things. And I can't believe I didn't tell you the story. Did I tell you the story? <laughs> the story about my closets and my everything. I'll tell you again. This is a country house. It's um where it's a two-story home. And it's got the L-shaped staircase and the two-story entryway and, and the big cap round window. But it has no covered porch, which just makes me nuts. Because I love a covered porch. Now I've got this thing and I don't glue it and I don't know where to put it. Okay, I'm just going to stick it right there. Anyway, it, it, may, it makes me nuts not having a covered porch. And it's a small porch. So there's nothing much you can decorate on it. You can't put, lot, like I've got the two little trees by my front door. Um, and I've got a pretty front door with side lights. We bought a new door. But there's just, there's no room to work. So there, like I can't put a settee or a bench or anything like that. And it just makes me crazy because I had a long covered porch in Missouri. And um, I loved that long covered porch. Okay, I have this one branch left. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. Okay. So I'm going to add this somewhere because I like working in odd numbers. Not that anybody's going to count. One, two, three, four. I do have six, though. Let's see. Should I put it right up here? I think that will be fine right up there. Okay. There we go right there anyhow so this builder um when he they they had horses so we're on five acres so he has a nice pasture in the back uh three acres of pasture with a nice pond when i say nice it gets really scummy um we we, have, we need to find a spring i know there's a spring somewhere that we can trench to feed that pond but we haven't found it yet and it'll be nice if we ever do, because it'll help. Sometimes that pond, we've had when we had the drought, that pond dried up. And all of our fish that were in there died. And we don't fish, we just, just leave them, but I enjoyed them. Just watch them jump. Anyhow, uh, so he had horses and he had he uh, the house has a two-car attached garage, and then he built a detached garage, and behind it is a stable. And uh, the stable is now Donald's workshop for his carting because, you know, he raises carts. So, so that part of it, he did well. You know, lots of room, workshop area, cupboards built in, all that kind of thing. And out there um, off of that garage is a bathroom. So we have a, and we have a pool. He built an in-ground pool. So we have an old pool, and we had to put a new liner in it. And uh, so we have a bathhouse out there that's got hookups for a washer and dryer. But somewhere along the way, somebody disconnected the water. And uh, so I'm sure that washer, that, that old washer out there is no good. The hose is rotted, I'm sure. So we have a lot of rehabbing we need to do. Well, my flower just came apart. Okay, I'll go back to little these little beaded things. <laughs> I don't want to mess with flowers falling apart. So in my house, I have the kitchen. You know, I did my live kitchen on my homemade rolls. I told you my kitchen is just pathetic. Nothing, nothing movable in the in the cupboards, and they're narrow cupboards. They don't hold much. The pantry is very deep and not mu not much function. Um, because it's so deep, you know, it's not easily accessible. And uh, anyhow, it's a U-shaped kitchen. It only has like four drawers in the whole kitchen, and they're all little bitty drawers. So they're they're not functional. And uh, so I figured these people didn't do much about eating. 
And this is a builder that built this house to live in. Okay. Now, all the closets in the house are half closets. You can walk in them, but when you walk in them, they're only half there. It's just like one rod and on one side and a little short rod on the end. And uh, so it's a half of a closet. So, and then the guest room closets, it's only like, I think it's for a little person because it's so short and it's not even a half of a closet. So I have a theory about these people that lived in this house. I figured that they were nudists and because of the kitchen, they didn't eat. So I figured they were anorexic nudists and uh, so all they did was ride horses. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. I'm pulling out these little pearls here. This is coming together, guys. It's really starting to... I'm pretty happy with this so far. What do y'all think? Oh, thanks. Thanks. Um, here, I'll use my teeth to pull out the ornaments. And let's see how I want no, I don't want that one there. That one looks very lonely by himself, so I need to get... <laughs> I have a wall of stringy glue. Anyhow, my dream is to someday be able to um, add on to the house and put a master bedroom downstairs. And uh, the laundry room is upstairs. And I know, you know, I always thought, oh, how wonderful. Your clothes are upstairs. You know, you get them out of the washer and or get them out of the dryer, throw them on the bed, whatever, you know. The problem with having the laundry upstairs is that if you're living your life downstairs, you're having to run up and down, up and down, and up and down. And sometimes you forget that there's laundry in there. So, like most of the time, I get busy and I forget. So it's not the most convenient thing. And, uh, whoops, I just pulled a petal off my flower. Okay, I'm putting those three little balls together. I kind of like that. And then I'm going to put some little pearls in there, too. I think I want to stick those little pearls right there. Yep. There we go. Oh, that looks neat. Okay, so I'm running a little bear through here. So now what do I want to do? Let's put, no. I wish I had another rose. <laughs> That's what I wish I had. Got a bunch of hydrangeas and no more roses. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I have a carnation, but that's going to look out of place by itself. Okay, I'll just start with the hydrangeas. It's hard to imagine that a builder would build a house. Um, I mean, there's a lot of nice features to the house. Don't get me wrong. And uh, but I'll tell you, the upkeep on this place is enormous. And I, I told y'all. I know I told y'all the reason I started this business was so I could hire a maid. It is just too much house to clean. And uh, it's hard on me because I'm an asthmatic and I'm not supposed to dust or vacuum. That makes it really hard. I'm going to cut one of these little things off because it looks a little too many. There we go. Okay. Well, I'm not supposed to do it, 
and somebody else doesn't want to do it. So you can imagine, <laughs> I need a me. Okay, I'm going to get more of these little gold bead things. These are the neatest little, they're just kind of little berry things. I'm just going to rip those apart like I did before. Hi, Joanne. Oh, <laughs> you're never too late. I'm just glad you showed up. Thank you. I'm glad you're liking it. Thank you, Vicki. Thank you, Dolores. Oh, I appreciate it, guys. You know, it's one of those things you just never know. Because it's just you start and you start putting in and hope that it comes together. And you just never know. It's kind of fun, though, not knowing. Yeah, I'm going to stick this little guy coming this way there yeah because you want some things coming toward in kind of in the middle so tell me since i'm not looking at the horse shell wreath now would you buy mine <laughs> rather than theirs <laughs> I want some more of these little white things. I like the. Okay. Yeah, I definitely need some white down there. Okay. I'm going to hold that into place while that glue sets. It's filling up. <laughs> I started peel thought I was peeling glue off. I forgot I had a band-aid there where I cut myself the other day. I'm always doing that. I don't think it needs more flowers. I think it just needs the filler stuff. You know, the beads and the so let's get some more pearls. And like I said, I'll add the lights. My light strands are 50. And I don't know that I need more than that. We'll see. I'm a bit here. Now I'm going to pull these berries out just a little bit. Okay. Stick them right down there. I just kind of like those with the ornaments sticking out like that. I'm sorry you can't see down and see up. I, I can't think manage to show you both ways. So I figure if you watch me putting it in, that that would be better than watching me cut, right? Okay. Because right now I'm just cutting stems. And the secret is you don't want your stems too long and you don't want them too short. You just want them, you want enough to glue, but you don't want enough to poke through on the other side. That's for sure. And right now I'm just going to stick, just go around and put these little, little, uh, white berries. They have a sheen to them. They kind of look like pearls. When I cut my stems, I like to have a little bit of a hook there to kind of grab something. Makes it easy when you stick them in that you have something to kind of grab. Okay, where am I with these? Because yeah. we want this wreath to be very, very full. 
so that everywhere you look, there's something to see. That one will work. I want to put another little I think I want this. I've got one little one, but you hardly see it. I was thinking. I'm cutting off my pick here. It's a little too long. My wire cutters are getting dull on me. Oh, I was going to tell you. Something I totally had forgotten about and then read the other day, you know, helpful hints, do it yourself stuff. And um, did you know when your scissors get dull, did you know that what you should do is you should cut strips of aluminum foil and cutting up, you don't have, you don't have to cut much. So I had some leftover foil that I had used um, just to cover something that was perfectly clean. And uh, so I just started cutting that foil with my scissors and boy, sharpened my scissors right up. I had totally forgotten about that hint. Oh, I have to share that in case nobody else had ever heard that. Okay, pearls, where do you want to go? I'm going to go down here. Okay, now that works. That little stem looks funny up there to me. Stand back. Okay, so I need some more of these little foamy. Oh, this is, some of these have such heavy stems. stand you up and hold you for a minute. Okay. Sprinkling in the love. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Gosh knows I need it. Oh, by the way, you guys, my YouTube channel, it's Cowling's Loving Designs. And I would really appreciate it if you go to my YouTube channel and subscribe and ring that bell. Uh, I was having major problems with that channel. And... Uh, because I had a personal one and I had a business one and I was trying to not have a personal one and uh, they screwed up my emails and well I say they I'm not sure it was they it might have been me because I'm so techno not savvy so it could easily have been me but it was screwed up <laughs> and uh, I gotta pull out the big guns here the big old cutters because this stem is really thick. But that did it. this is fun you know what I hope that everybody will just get you a pine wreath and get you a pick a theme whether it's red and green or uh, red and white or you know purple and white or whatever pick you a theme color gold and white silver and white silver and gold and just start doing what I'm doing and you know 
you really don't need a guide. The only thing that was that helped me with seeing that wreath is it just gave me the inspiration to do it. And um, like I said, I would never. Oh boy, this stem is not going to cut. Oh, it didn't. It went flying across the room. Okay, more stringy glue. Okay. Now I'm going to stand back here a second and see what I need to add. I'm going to add some little, and these right up here. I think. Maybe not. Come on, stay. There we go. And then I'm going to put some pearls up there. Okay, I'm missing some of these little snowy thingies kind of over here. So I need to stick some of that in right there. And I think I'm going to put that ornament right there. Yep, that'll work. It's just kind of a bare spot. It's going to be hard to put greenery or anything in. So I'm just going to put that ornament. Just holding it to make sure it doesn't come falling. <laughs> no, I didn't send you my glue gun. I use it. You know, every time I use it, I burn myself. <laughs> I got, got so much glue stringing on my light. I'm using my glue pot tonight. <laughs> Honestly, I will say I'm not sure that you know, I wanted the battery operator one just because I thought it was so cool looking and easy. But, and it is, as long as you have two chargers and two batteries, so you can always have one charged, it is easier. I'm pulling glue off the leaf that I dribbled on there. And it rubs right off, so that's good. Um, but I'm not sure, unless you can do like we did and get it on sale, I'm not sure that for the money... That the Ryobi is the best bet. I'm really not. And I wouldn't. I wouldn't tell anybody that they had to have that. I think I told you how I got it. Because they had a deal if you buy the. Um, what is it? If you bought a battery. You got a, got a tool free or something like that. I'm not sure I want that right there. Maybe right. Nope. I don't want that either. How about a duller one? That works better. Okay. Let's see that right there. But yes, I love you. I'm just not giving it away. <laughs> if I could ever get a real good deal on it when I do a giveaway, that would be a nice giveaway. I I do think so. And uh, 
but I'd have to get a good deal on it. But I will watch for it, I promise. Because if y'all help me get finish getting to that 2,000 on my Facebook page on those likes, I will have a giveaway. And I'm getting pretty close. Guys, let's see. What do you think? I'm not sure it needs another thing. I could just keep adding and adding and adding. <laughs> for you. Uh-huh. Yeah, for you. For you, Tabby. Definitely for you. Um, so what do you think? Do you got do y'all think I need to add any more? That leaf wants to curl on me. I wonder what I can stick in front of it to make it stop doing that. Wonder if I can do. Mm -hmm. Maybe the. Maybe some of these. I don't really need them. I don't like those. I don't like those there. Oh, I guess we're just going to let it curl. Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm standing back and I'm just looking at it. And I'm going to start looking at the sides. Okay, from the sides, it's kind of bare up here. It needs something up there. So... I just had that white snowy thing. Where did I put it? <laughs> there it is. Okay. I need to come back here with some things. So I'm going to come back here with this. Right into there. And then I'm going to come up with some gold back here. Because it was kind of bare back here. And it just looked like it needed something. And. I'm going to put this right here. I'm going to go right there. <laughs> Did you see that big old glob of blue that just came tumbling down? <laughs> oh. So that went right there. That took care of that bare spot right away. And then I'm going to put that little ball right there. And nobody's going to see it unless you're looking from this side. So now I'm going to pull this over this way. Yep, I've got some bare spots over here too. Okay. It's almost done. Yeah, but see, see if you look at it from this angle, there's something, there's stuff missing. So we're just going to fill in. So there's nothing missing on the sides. almost all my blue up. Of course, some of that was one of those big old gloves that went to the floor, right? Okay, see how that spilled in just by adding a couple of little things. Those ornaments on the side, boy, do they help a wreath. 
they really help a read. So now I'm going to pull out my lights. Good night, Bernice. I didn't even see. Oh, you came and then you're leaving. Okay. I'm glad you came. <laughs> We're almost at the end. Please like and share. Please. So. So have you enjoyed my project tonight, guys? Have you liked it? These are these little itty bitty fairy lights. And they have a programmable remote. Oh my goodness. And they have to have batteries, I'm sure. Of course they do. And I don't think I have batteries in here. I do not. Okay. So what I will do is get batteries. First of all, I'm going to cut all these tags off these lights. Who wants those heavy old tags hanging? These are the teeny, teeny, tiny. Can you see them? Those little itty bitty fairy lights. And so I will... Uh, go get some batteries here in my case and so I will light them up before I put them in so I can see what I'm doing and I will add them to my wreath and I will make sure that the battery packs on the back so it's really easy you're here you're here <laughs> I'm so glad you're here so what do you guys think turn it around to the camera there what do you think? Did I do a relatively decent job of copying the horseshell wreath? Considering that I have just, I didn't go buy any supplies for this. I used everything I used. I used the stuff I had on hand. And uh, so some of the things I just had to kind of make do, but... I didn't throw anything away I wasn't supposed to. I have to pull this through. Thank you, Bernice. I appreciate that. I miss so many of the comments. I will go back. I will go back and read them. And uh, if I have any questions, if you know, feel well, uh, feel free to ask me questions. And I promise I'll go back and read them all. And I will, I will answer your questions if you have. Oh, guys, I can't do these lights right now because they're all taped on. It's going to take me forever to untape these. So. I will do these as soon as we get off here. I'll go get batteries. And I've never had these lights before. <laughs> so they're, they have a little bigger battery pack than what I would have liked to have had. But I think it'll be all right since it's a sizable wreath. You know, it's, it's this big. It's not that big. Call it two AA batteries. And But I need to learn how to program it because I can make them steady white, steady multi. Um... I'm not a flash. I'm not sure. I have to figure out these. So, uh, but I will get these untaped and get them in this wreath. And oh my gosh, this has been a lot of fun. I want to thank you for joining me tonight. And I always enjoy doing something um, unique or special or different. And uh, sometimes it's just a plain old wreath, though, of course. But. Uh, it means so much to me that you took the time out of your busy season to join me tonight and uh, want to know how much I appreciate it. Again, I'd ask you to like and share and um, make sure you check out my Etsy store, Cowling's Loving Design, no S on the end. You know how they run it all together. 
and my YouTube channel. And uh, I so appreciate it. Just so, so much. Can't even know. And uh, I will be back here next Tuesday night, if not before. But I probably will be on here before because I have so many projects I've got to get done and only about a week left to do it. Anyway, thanks again. And go let beauty surround you. Good night.